classic hero's journey about a ragtag group of misfits. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves trailer is ripe with a bunch of Easter eggs and callbacks to the iconic tabletop game. Fans of the franchise were able to find out a bunch of these, and star Reggae Jean Page even revealed a few exciting Easter eggs that we're sure fans will want to know all about. In today's video, we'll discuss some of these and more. So let's dive right in. First off, Reggae Jean Page revealed some exciting Easter eggs from the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. While fans have been having a blast figuring out all the fun little Easter eggs since the film trailer dropped back in July. It turns out fans aren't the only ones revealing these cool little nods. Star Reggae Jean Page did an interview a while ago where he talked a bit about his character. He's going to be playing a paladin in the movie, whose name is Zank. Page talked a bit about the character's outfit and the symbol that we saw on his head in the trailer. While the actor didn't want to go into too many details, he did state that the symbol is actually an Easter egg and a spoiler. He wanted to stay clear of any deep spoiler territory, but added that the symbol is a significant and firm part of his character. And all of the this will be uncovered when the movie dives into his backstory. Paladin characters tend to be one note in most fantasy series, but it seems that the writers of Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves have focused on providing Zank with a lot of dimensions and layers. Reggae Jean Page stated that this allowed him to play around with the character a lot more. He hinted that super fans of the franchise might be able to understand what the symbol means, but he wasn't going to confirm anything by himself just yet. Fans have been debating with each other on what the symbol means since the trailer came out, and it'll be interesting to see who ends up being right when the movie finally releases. Next, let's discuss some of the main things fans might have missed from the Dungeons & Dragons trailer. And that allows us to have as much fun with this as we can. You've already made the plan, so... If the existing plan fails, I make a new plan. So you make plans that fail? No. He also plays the loot. Not relevant. Starting off at number six, it's the fact that druids can't turn into owl bears at lower levels. Dungeons and Dragons fans are very observant, and many were able to notice a potential issue in the trailer. There's a scene where the party's druid transforms into an owl bear. It looks cool and all, but this is a transformation that doesn't become available until the druid is of a much higher level. This is done through the wild shape ability, which a low level druid wouldn't really have access to. The ability allows druids to take on the form of an animal, gaining their physical stats while being able to maintain their own mental stats. A druid needs to at least be a third of the level of the beast they're trying to transform into. And even if we assume that the character in the trailer is high enough level to become an owlbear, it still shouldn't be possible. Owlbears are classified as monstrosities in D&D, not beasts. Again, some people might call this incredibly nitpicky, but if more issues like this pop up, longtime fans of the franchise might not have the best time. Next up at number 5, bards usually aren't the leaders of their party. In Dungeons & Dragons, bards possess a lot of charisma, their ability to cast spells centers around that stat, and so it's pretty important for them. They also tend to be incredibly squishy, making it a good idea to invest some stats in dexterity. This can help them avoid getting hit. Because of their stat distribution, they aren't really the first option that comes to mind when selecting people to lead the party. But in the trailer, we noticed that among the classes present in the main party, none of them are intelligence focused. This means that the bard, being the leader, as we saw in the trailer, was probably because there wasn't anyone else better suited to take the role. This could be trouble for the group though, since bards typically don't make great leaders and have a tendency to get in trouble most often. Anyone expecting them to have genius level planning will probably be let down quite easily. We help the wrong person steal the wrong thing. Back on to number 4, the trailer might have given us a glimpse of a black dragon. An interesting shot from the trailer shows us a scary dragon raining fire on a cavalry. While the shot is quite brief, and it isn't exactly clear what the color of the dragon is, we think this is a black dragon. This is mainly because of the fact that its breath attack comes out as a viscous, dark substance before it catches fire. The one we saw in the trailer might not be an ancient black dragon, but it's still very dangerous. Dragons are fearsome creatures that don't tend to be too fond of humans. There are plenty of monsters in the D&D trailer, but we still think that a black dragon is something that the party is going to want to avoid at all costs. Plus, at number 3, we got to see a couple of notable locations from Dungeons & Dragons. The trailer has a bunch of monsters in action, yes, but it also took the time to give us a look at some of the most iconic places we'll be visiting in the movie. Among them was Waterdeep, which is the hub of commerce and power in modern D&D. It's a city brimming with business, trade, and of course, crime. It rose to power after Neverwinter got incredibly damaged due to a volcanic eruption. The ruling class in the city decided to pack up their bags and move to Waterdeep instead of trying to rebuild the city. Rich people, are we 
exactly right, this means that most people in Waterdeep tend to have quite a lot of cash on them. And if anyone's character comes from money, then they'll likely be from Waterdeep. It'll be interesting to see what role the city plays in the movie. The trailer also gave us a brief glimpse at the Underdark. This is a popular campaign setting within the main Forgotten Realms world of Dungeons & Dragons. It's a subterranean network of cities, caves, and dungeons. The place is the home of the Drow, which is a race of elves. They've been considered to be the evil elves for a very long time, but recently, they've been getting more complexities added to their society and culture. We're sure these two are just a few of the many sights and sceneries the D&D film will treat us to. At number two, let's also highlight some of the main monsters we got to see. There were a ton of scary-looking monsters in the Dungeons & Dragons trailer. Longtime fans might have been able to recognize many of these. The Displacer Beast is one that got quite a bit of limelight in the trailer. It's a panther-like creature that has six legs and some tentacles coming out of its back. Yeah, anything looking like that can't be friendly. What makes it even more dangerous is the fact that it has the power to bend light around itself. This makes it so they appear to be nearer or farther to their prey than they really are. Magical abilities like True Sight can help uncover this beast's real location, but if you don't have a magic user at your party, you're definitely going to have a tough time taking it down. The trailer also gave us a good look at a mimic. This is a classic monster from D&D, which has also managed to find its way into other games like From Software's Dark Souls franchise. Mimics are monsters that take on the appearance of mundane objects, but if they're ever disturbed, they reveal their massive mouth that is filled with sharp teeth. They can eat up their prey whole, which shouldn't be surprising considering just how big that jaw of theirs is. Their tongue also has an adhesive saliva that makes it so you're not getting away from it too easily. We wonder what unlucky party member makes the mistake of disturbing the mimic we saw in the trailer. Finally, at number one, you really shouldn't be jumping into a gelatinous cube. In one of the scenes from the trailer, we saw the druid, Doric, and the sorcerer jump into a gelatinous cube to avoid the displacer beast they were fighting. If you're a longtime D&D player, you'll probably know that this is something that you really shouldn't be doing. This is because while inside of the cube might look super cozy and safe, it's anything but that. The gelatinous cube is an iconic D&D monster that's known to paralyze adventurers and dissolve them using the acids that are found inside of it. Anyone that makes the mistake of entering it and getting stuck will slowly turn into paste as their body will literally dissolve due to the acid. Yikes. And so the druid and sorcerer from the trailer definitely made a rather rookie mistake, thinking they'd be safe inside the cube. Hopefully, the rest of their party members can help them out before they're dissolved. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on Reggae John Page revealing these major Easter eggs in Dungeons & Dragons? Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.